we got a guest. So I'm gonna keep it short and simple because the nigga already don't want to be here. Y'all give it up for the one, the only, Carlos Miller. Yeah. 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 I guess. <laughs> I'm a guest. Yes. Guess. I'm a guest. Guest executive producer. Wow. <laughs> the, wow. The, a, a funding sponsor. <laughs> wow. I'm talking Invest. about for, for, sh yeah, for show purposes, you a guest, bro. Venture Damn. Capitalist. Damn. That's all you Nigga, who making shit pop? <laughs> <laughs> Call on the middle. Yeah. Call the fucking middle. Very good to have you. Long as we thought we've we been waiting. Hey, man. <laughs> Hey. <laughs> you you been busy. So this what it is, huh? Yeah, man. Welcome. You, you finally get to see what's going on in here, man. Man, appreciate it, man. Appreciate it. Yeah. About time. Yeah, hey, man. You try to act like you was in a rush. <laughs> you had shot 13 episodes before I even knew where you were shooting it at. <laughs> Man, I, I've been reaching out to you, management. Because you leave me on red. No, I'm so just saying, man. Y'all right. Because some of these lights on me. Woo! Woo! Hey, man. What's your favorite sport, Lo? All of them. Niggas don't know where you play sports, bro. I play sports. I met Lo's uh, classmates and schoolmates. They always talk about you. He was an athlete. Yeah. But you never tell no sports stories and shit. Man, and... I was out there whooping ass on a few things, bro. What what position you played in football? Football, I was a cornerback and like strong safety. I played wide receiver on offense. I used to go out there and get it, man. What All number right. you rock? Twenty two. Oh, yeah, oh yeah, you, yeah. <laughs> That's a good-ass number. Nigga ain't got damn. Yeah. Now, you would've said like a 48. Yeah. No, no, no. I, I would've had the goddamn That's a real fact. strong safety number. Yeah, 22. Right. A nigga had that deuce deuce? Yeah. Oh, nigga finna hit something. Yeah, yeah. Man, so when you, we just talking about cornerback. You went out there and saw Colorado and yeah. saw Dion what he put together. How you... Do Dion got college football too excited or... Too exciting right now? No. He, they don't even understand the caliber that he on now. It's like, he went to Jackson State. Yeah. Got the coaching skills together. But now he got his facilities. He got everything he need to be the next Alabama. Oh. I'm telling you, bro. The only thing they got to do now is, like you said, get them recruiting game up. Get some, get some, uh, some more four and five star talent out there, once he get the right, when he get what he call the dogs out there, yeah, it's over with. Bro, cause I'm saying like, when we watch Colorado, we watching them, like, win, lose, or draw. Like, right. I, don't, I can't name a black person who not a Colorado fan right now. Right, win, <laughs> lose, or draw, like you said, because Deion Sanders, he, the, he represent us. He, uh -huh. the, he all the shit we done talked all week. Man, he have. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? All the shit we done talked all week. That's, I mean, that's, yeah. what, that's what we've been waiting on as black people, though. It's like, we got HBCUs, but then where the games be at? Like, you, you like they used to play them on BET. Yeah. But it's hard to support these games if you're not seeing them or they're not getting the recognition. And Dion bringing that to Colorado. Nigga, he had the baby out there. Just recently, he done had Offset. He done had Master P. Nigga, you never seen The Rock at no damn college right. football game. Right. The Rock? And the that even at the Bro, when you seen The Rock around some black folks? Yeah, what? So. <laughs> Not since WWE. <laughs> when that nigga probably was fighting Booker T or something. Nah, Furious. Furious. <laughs> and he, shit, he got, he, but he, he was kicking it, though. Yeah. yeah. He I ain't never seen shit. The Rock kick it with no black people. Like, pull and, up. And he the Rock literally pulled up to the cookout last weekend. Looking comfortable. Chilling. Talking big shit. No you security. You son of a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't had no security or nothing. Yeah. No, but the, no the thing about it, though, is like, everybody knows how great Deion Sanders is as a player. They know he's going to be great as a coach. And now just to see him have everything he was asking for at Jackson State times 10. And he just got he got the keys to the house, free reign. Look how much he done turned the game around already. That quick. Like many people, like you said, watching it, that ain't 
Even college football fans? Nigga, we don't even watch the top five college teams. Right. Like, you don't even be... You just look at the scores and stuff, but nigga will watch a Colorado game. You don't people, care who they play. People right. were mad that the game wasn't on TV against Arizona State this past weekend. Right. Like, they were tight. They were looking for it. And then, you know, he a father. He got two sons on that team. So we kind of watching the story of that, too. Right, yeah. Uh, the story of, of seeing somebody, you know, that, that, that father... Black yeah. people, black we all father, yeah. we always gonna be able to relate to that. Whether and you bro, had a father, they always be saying, "I'm glad that's in the media," because they always be like, you know, dads don't be in the kids' lives and all that. As a dad, you see that dad with his kids. That might make a nigga who ain't seen his kid in a couple of years be like, "Man, I'm gonna go fuck with him." <laughs> it ain't gonna do that because <laughs> you said in a couple of years, ain't no football game gonna do that now. Uh -uh. No, not even praying. Not even praying. It's the prime effect, bro. Not even praying. Bro, you, you still not watching shit. My jit might be good. Let me go. No, see we just got to start using platforms like this to encourage brothers to make it right with their baby mamas and go be fine. Yeah, sometimes. It ain't never too late to start. However never fucked too up late. it is, start somewhere. Start tonight. Send a text. Send a text. How little man doing? <laughs> yeah, might 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 take him some. You trying to text your son name? You just spelled the name wrong. <laughs> then my bad is a keyword, a key bag, key bag. Auto correct, fuck them up. <laughs> Baby, but, mama petty. She just keeps saying, "Who is that?" <laughs> know what you trying to say? <laughs> you a Dion? I know you a Dion fan. Who who's somebody uh, you a fan of? People in the expect like. Football, basketball, any any sport wise. Uh, you know, I got I got my um my top twenty five black athletes of all time or whatever. I grew up playing sports, so yeah. You know, the nineties era of basketball, it just seemed like it was at least two or three stars on every team. So you know what so I'm what you so saying like, that you think Mike the best player of all Michael time? Michael Jordan, <laughs> yes, Michael Jordan. He had the same effect as Muhammad Ali. Just mm -hmm. in basketball. And then it was athletes like Prime and, and Bo Jackson. Ooh, and, Bo Jackson. And, like, Scottie Pippen was a dog to me. And I used to love to watch, um, I used to watch baseball games with my with my grandma and shit. So I used to see a lot of, lot of like, like the Sammy Sosa, uh, the Mark McGuire home run joints. That, that oh, yeah, when the they were having their little shit going on. Yeah. Them niggas was snitching on each other and all of them doing <laughs> right. steroids. Mike Tyson, one of my favorite athletes Ooh, of all yeah. time. Um, I am Mike fan. Tyson. Yeah, man, I am Mike. You being, a, being from Mississippi, who was, who was your team? Like, who was your team you go for? Or we you was your player? Yeah, like, yeah that's what I'm saying. So, like minor league baseball. Yeah, but like, I, I grew up as a 49ers fan. <sighs> Jerry Rice and Steve Young and Joe Montana and, man, Garrison Hurst and, Oh yeah, bruh, mm -hmm. I bro, I'm talking about To and what the heyday when they had three receivers out there that was all Nigga, over six five. To and what was the Stokes other receiver? So I remember To, JJ Stokes, To, oh, yeah, yeah. Jerry you know they Rice, had. Jeff Garcia, Jeff Garcia was the quarterback. Oh, Jeff Garcia was oh, straight hell too. Yeah, Garrison Hurst was the running back. He was a UG, dog. UGA. Yeah, yeah, uh -huh. he was a dog. No, nah, that's so I, real. I was like, I grew up heavy with the 49ers. You still, you still a fan? Yeah, most definitely, bro. They Because they had us out to the game, made us jerseys. They fucked with us, put us in the box, fed us. It was, that's, yeah, that's probably going to always be my favorite team Respect. until somebody else topped that shit. Nigga. But whoever fucked with me, I'm a fan of the team. You know, I got jerseys from all the places that I've been, uh -huh. all the teams that fuck with me. So I got about 12, 13 teams that I'm a fan of. Especially if they got damn sure a nigga some love. Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One ticket, one jersey, one Coke, and nigga one hot dog. Me. Hey, I'm in there. Nigga. I am the biggest Baltimore Ravens fan ever. <laughs> nigga, it's hard, it hard right now to get me to root against them Titans. Nigga, they treated us with so much love Bro, and Tennessee respect. The Tennessee Titans is exactly. Nigga. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Nigga, I'm in there screaming. Nigga, I'm doing the chants and all. <laughs> nigga, I learned that shit in the first quarter. Look, I wouldn't stop. Ain't it fucked up? And we still buying Falcons tickets. We buying tickets. Don't say nothing. Don't say they, they watch the show. Man, Falcons full of shit. We need a hat, a jersey, a skull cap, a sweater. Come on, Falcons. Y'all got to get right. Let me, let, me, let me make a call. Let me talk to some folks. Man. Yeah. Man. Like you said, any team that fuck with us, I fuck with them back. The Patriots. 
What about Jerome Bezos? I heard you had asked tried before. to stun on me, bro. What? The, bus? the bus tried to stun on me. You ain't heard this story. Bro, I'm at the airport one morning, walking to my... I'm getting some breakfast. I'm getting some breakfast. So I get my breakfast, and then I see Jerome Bezos walk by me. And I was like, oh, shit, what's up, bus man? I'm a huge fan, bro. Hey, I watched all of your games, man. You a dog. So we he was like, man, I appreciate that, bro. So we walking. I'm going to my terminal now. I said, my piece. <laughs> yeah. We walking. We take about maybe six or seven steps after that. He was like, hey, bro, no pictures. I'm like, hey, <laughs> hey, hey, yeah. hey, yeah. hey, I'm somebody yeah. too. I don't yeah. hey, yeah. do that shit. Hey, I did what I wanted to do, man. I just told you, hey, no, bitch, no. He thought I was you were about following. to tell you the same shit, my <laughs> boy. <laughs> Hell no. Nah. Yo, 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 yo. You know what time it is. Time for Broken Play. And you know what we rocking with. Prize picks. Look, man, anything you put up to $100, they gonna match it. And it's the best time to be on prize picks when you're using the code Broken Play. Listen, you got baseball season in. You got WNBA. You got college football. You got NFL. Tennis. It's so many things that you... Okay, you don't like basketball. Okay, you like football. Any sport that you into, you can type it in. Come on, man. It's easy money. All you're doing is more or less. Who you like? If you like some of your favorite players and you think they're going to get more, pick more. If you think they're going to do less, pick less. Man, up to six picks, you can win up to 25 times your money. Over here at Broken Play, we've been winning money. We've been popping 1942. We've been having Fiji water. We've been having hot weed and platters. And you know why? Because we on prize picks. You could be on there too if you use the Broken Play code. And it's going to match up the money. If you put up $100, they match your $100. Now you got $200. Look, I ain't no math teacher. I ain't, I ain't do too good in algebra. But I know that's a good, that's a good math right now. Hey, come on over there to Broken Play. Prize picks. Get at them. Nigga. This was what? recent? This was about a couple years ago. Two years about ago. two years ago. Yeah, in yeah. Airport, Like, man. you not even, nigga, what? <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm talking about, nigga the bus, you ain't just taking pictures like right, that. Come on, for you man. to say no pictures. Nigga barely recognize you in this yeah. ass, nigga. Nigga, I'm thinking you would be like, oh, nigga, that's what's up. Because I know, like, you know, it's hard to know football players without a helmet. Right. right. Nigga, we had just watched the game, and me and Cat was back there, me, Cat, Clayton. After they get changed out, Cat was like, who are they? I'm like, I don't know them niggas without they <laughs> <laughs> Bro, when they get to put the drip on, I don't know them niggas. Hey, man, I don't got to say this, too. Randy Moss was one of the coldest niggas ever played ball. Him Facts. and Michael Vick. These are all the niggas. Oh, yeah. That, like, you niggas, asked me we, about we some of my favorite Vick. niggas. Man, but Randy Moss shocked the hell out of me. Cause that, it was a long time. I was just watching Randy Moss be a dog, and then he had a great ass game, and I caught one of them interviews, and it sounded like he an talk. old white man. I was like, "What the <laughs> fuck?" <laughs> Never seen no shit like that. From before. West Virginia, bro. <clears throat> yeah, Nigga, exactly. Pat Mahomes, Pat Mahomes talked crazy too. Yeah. You ever heard him talk? Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, he be but like nah, that. His dad <laughs> one of the most gangster dudes, like smoking black oh, and shit. Like, nigga, his crazy. daddy be drinking, and you yeah. can tell in it. And his voice, his daddy be drunk at the games and shit. When yeah. they won the Super Bowl. I love yeah. when mixed people have a black ass parent. <laughs> yeah, or at least one. Yeah. yeah, it gotta be the black. I like the black dad a little bit more though. Yeah, cause if the black one, they be trying to like not show her as much. The yeah, black when, dad, but when the dad is just him. a nigga and he yeah. can't help it. <laughs> Like you said, he got a pack of wine, black and mouth in his back pocket. Hey, you know, eight thousand dollars. <laughs> Mama done put him out here and there with about four holes. Yeah, my son, make sure I ain't got to do shit. Hey, it's a hey, and Pat Mahomes love it, Dad. Too, you can right. tell that nigga yeah. want Dad there. Yeah. No matter like how how you feel about that, like. I think it, eventually Dion he gonna do college for a minute, but I know like once your door get in the league. He want to be in the NFL with his he son. No, he, he don't. don't. He don't. He don't. He Hell no. Yeah. He wants to mold these young black kids. He know them kids, niggas man. ain't going to listen. Yeah. <laughs> niggas be having egos. Yeah. Niggas in the NFL, they, they talk shit to the coaches right after the game. They don't wait. <laughs> <laughs> they just asked the wide receiver Jamar Chase and uh, the Bengals talking about, he was like, you ain't getting to know. He was like, I'm always open. No, he said I'm always fucking open. Oh, yeah. He, he said <laughs> I don't that keep shit. it clean. You can Nigga. quote him. But Chad Johnson been saying this shit forever. Osho Cinco yeah. 
Oh, that's another goddamn Ocho Cinco was a wild with the gold gold grill. Hell yeah, yeah, that's the only mohawk. way. That's yeah. the only way. Yeah. That nigga Russell Wilson, uh, he keep losing. What you think? What solve that for for him, Los? What should Russell Wilson do, bro? Future, he having his little shit with Future. He hearing the music from Future. What you think he should do? First what thing, advice you First got thing he got to do, he got to stop listening to that shit. He got to stop listening to Future music, looking for shit. He done lost focus. It ain't summertime no more. You could tell he spent his whole summer just going through them line for line, bar for bar, <laughs> looking for them sneak disses. That's why he don't know the offense and shit no more. But he know goddamn dirty Sprite. Back to front. Word right. Word. See, what it is, he listening to that shit, trying to, like, sneak this and back. Mm. But he ain't handling his business. Uh. He done got off his square. Don't nobody like him. Yeah. Even the coach be like, man. All right, but that's that. You know who you know who uh, you know what that is. Yeah, that ain't me, bro. He, you be seeing they offense be huddling up without him and shit. Look, that ain't me. The owners, that's the owners. The, uh, Pastor Tain said he told us they be playing that shit. In oh the yeah, he you said. Lying. He said. Who was it? No, and the fucked up part yeah. is he have to see this nigga every so often. Uh huh. Yeah. At the little meet, like. It's rich as they are. What where they mean up to drop the kid the gas off? Station like some black parents. <laughs> you think the they keep a nigga Walmart, like that? Walmart. Walmart. Yeah. Bro, me and my baby mom did McDonald's for like four years straight. I'm like, bitch, neither one of us stay by this McDonald's. Like, why are we mean right here? That's the whole point. It gotta be somewhere in for both of y'all. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Like, yeah, but hey. I'm not on that. Like, what, like, why you treat me like that? Yeah, he gonna have to stop that though. And get back focused on football. Stop listening to that shit. Because it's eating him up on the inside. And he probably done came home and heard that shit playing. Instagram scrolling. Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. His teammate using the song on highlights All and shit. Stories yeah. and you shit. know what going to fuck it up, though? If they ever, like, if Sierra be like, don't, don't listen to your dad in the house and he go and tell Future... See, it probably ain't even Russ. It probably Sierra making the rules. So when Lil Future told him that, he said, nigga, I got it out the field. Fuck Russ. <laughs> I'm just go straight to the studio. I'm just keep it real with you. I'm, I'm, I, it's just my own personal black man theory, bro. Man, ever since he got off the white women, he just been, he losing his power, bro. Hey, man. <laughs> he won the Super Bowl with a white woman. That's what I'm saying, bro. <laughs> bro. <laughs> She bro, he a, did. He had a white woman a all through college. Too. Broke all them yeah. records. Get to the league, switched up. But that black man, maybe she he could just, dance too. He's just a better husband, stepfather than he is a quarterback these right. days. That nigga's an excellent stepfather. Yeah, I think, I'm gonna tell you a black man trick to getting your motherfucking mojo right, though. If you ever going through a hard point in your life, bro, just grow your hair. Out. Uh. Well, if you can't, Think about if it. You when Kobe it. had that little nappy afro that never was round, who could guard that nigga? <laughs> look it up. Nobody. When Kobe Bryant had the little afro look like he woke up with the little linen in it, nope, that's when the nigga was winning dunk contests, everything. Nobody could see Kobe with the afro, nigga. Kobe with the fucked up fro? <laughs> Man, I'm talking about when the nigga jersey was too big and shit. Man, that nigga was unguardable. He had unguardable. that chest every time he shot that motherfucker. <laughs> Not ball COVID. That's when he airballing the shit. But when that nigga let his shit get fuzzy, when Rasheed Wallace, when that nigga shit wasn't do Ben oh, Wallace, oh, nigga can't but, fuck with you when your she had that little patch in his shit though. He, hey man, don't play with him. Bro, that nigga will come see you. I know yeah, we that need nigga. him. On I the know show. him. He he'll come see you. Don't we say the wrong him. shit. Nigga, it's past tense. He don't give a fuck about that type of shit. See, you give a fuck about he, that he type of shit. Philly. He from He don't give a fuck about it. He don't let shit go. Don't say the wrong shit. Nigga. Fuck I be you. telling you, these nigga fuck <laughs> with you. As soon as you say fuck these sorry ass nigga, then next week you be their we friend need again. I need him on the show, Lord. Man, fuck you, Rasheed, till you come. All right. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga will pull up with them big ass Air Force Boys on. Get hey. the strap. But that's, hey, you tell your audience, you can go on YouTube, look up any footage when a nigga half fucked, when Randy Moss shit was everywhere. Who yeah. could guard that nigga? When you play professional sports and you let your shit get nappy, can't nobody fuck with you, bro. That's just facts. You remember the other motherfucker, um, 
Anytime a nigga take their braids out, can't nobody fuck with them. Allen Iverson was hooping so hard in one game, his mama said, boy, you showing your ass and braiding his <laughs> hair on the motherfucking bench. <laughs> nigga don't remember that. Yeah, he was sitting amazing. right there on the court. That's amazing. That nigga, hey, he a national treasure. Think bro. about it. Your running back ain't shit if he ain't got dreads. Ooh, nigga. Don't nobody want no fucking running back that don't have dreads. You remember Adrian James? Exactly. Nigga, that was my favorite running back. Chris Henry. Chris Henry. Ooh. Derrick Henry. Derrick Henry. Henry. Any nigga named Henry, can you po he's supposed <laughs> to be the running back. If you got a nigga named Henry on your team, <laughs> hand him the ball. <laughs> no, but I'm just saying. How, how big he is? He's, he playing tight end. Get your ass back there. Bro, black people have in sports have a correlation. When Serena and Venus had the motherfucking beads in their head, couldn't nobody see them. <laughs> Dennis Rodman, like if Dennis like Rodman didn't shit. have his hair done that night, like his shit was nappy from like three day, three games ago, and they get 30 the rebounds. <laughs> all the rebounds. And Dennis Rodman Mike. was a wild nigga too, though. Oh, yeah, facts. Oh, would you, yeah. Could you see yourself hanging with Dennis? Not not these days. Oh. Hell no. I would not hang out with Dennis Rodman because if you saw me hanging out with Dennis Rodman, you would be like, why the fuck is you hanging out with Dennis Rodman? Nigga need an intervention. Yeah. No, I don't, uh-uh. Who one player you ain't met that you like, nigga, I got to kick it and chop it up with that nigga? I got to, I don't know. I ain't never heard nobody say nothing good about me, Michael Jordan. But, I but gotta, you gotta see for yourself. I gotta beat that nigga. My, I might be the nigga that he be like, man, yeah, I've been waiting to sure. be some real niggas. Yeah, for sure. These niggas That's talking right. about my pants and shit. <laughs> <laughs> I know your ass can't hoop. You ain't even a threat. I'm gonna fuck with this little nigga. Big Jean Joy. Big Jeans. Man. The but, crazy part is he probably watched the shit. He done snuck and heard it. Ain't no way. Yeah, all right. Mike. Mike probably on 85 South like a motherfucker. Probably. You seen them clean ass J's I be wearing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. What the first thing you'll say when you see the nigga? <laughs> <laughs> Mike. Mike. My guy. My I know you. I know you don't fuck with niggas. I know this. Yeah. I know this. Yeah. Fuck with you, Mike. That's it. I am yeah. leaving like that. And let him see where he goes. I'm from just that. gonna leave it like yeah. that, bro. I, I I might catch him in the right mood. For yeah, sure. You never know. But I think with Mike, it's so many niggas who got damn uh, hated on him and shit like that. He just he just in a place of like, man, I don't well, trust you none crazy of these niggas. Fuck. Ain't nobody for real hated on Michael Jordan, nigga. Man, them niggas in the league, they hated Mike. Man, they, even them they were niggas. Scared of him. Even them niggas bought Jordans. How they hate Mike and they got oh, a Jordan collection. I'm telling collection, you, when he nigga. first came in the league, it documented how they used to treat him and shit. Man, fuck them niggas. They was making $11,000 a year. <laughs> right. Fuck them. Getting dunked on we ain't like about though. three or four of them niggas anyway. Magic Johnson, Isaiah Thomas, and three or four other niggas. The rest of them niggas work at the hardware store. Man, man. Ma <laughs> <laughs> and they said the hardware store. Home Depot like a motherfucker. That nigga Magic Johnson, when they Saw, you know when they said the 92 Olympics, when they realized, they were like, it's this nigga lead. He said when he faced Michael Jordan, he had his team, Mike had his team. He looked and he said, it's this nigga shit, boy. I can't do shit with this nigga. <laughs> but you know, like when you watch a player, like as a player, like you know this nigga way better than me. No, you got to play that nigga. That's when that's when it, a lot of niggas decide to retire right there. It ain't that they ain't good no more. It's just them young niggas got their young nigga energy. It's a young league. These bro. niggas gonna dunk all night. They gonna have it <laughs> all night. Yeah. They ain't tired yet. One or two a game and cool with nigga. Nigga. Y'all keep running and gunning? That shit be like oh, that battle rap nigga. Nigga, my dunks is better than yours. My shoes look better. <laughs> my socks is tighter. I get more holes than you. I can shoot better threes. I can do better layups. Nigga. My dunk package is raw. My handles is better. <laughs> I jump higher. Bitch, I look I better. <laughs> nigga don't give a fuck. All that goddamn being a veteran, that shit get you only so far. Yeah, what, you what, Somebody with energy? Yeah. Nigga, fuck All that. you can do is say, hey, listen up, this real. <laughs> hey, you, the, you the good practice nigga now. Uh -huh. You taking money over rings or the rings over the money? I'm taking the money. And but you just said Mike got six rings, though. Yeah, Mike got $3 billion, too, <laughs> nigga. 
Hey, they said Mike made more money after basketball, though. I don't give a fuck about that. If he could, if if he could have made it playing ball, he should have. That nigga made all of us buy shoes and watch them fucking. His games. last three years, he made the ad pay though. He was the first nigga getting thirty mil a season. Everybody he should have been getting that in the 80s. 000, and, and everybody else. Scotty <laughs> that nigga Scotty was Scottie. mad as a motherfucker. Then you turn around, nigga son. <laughs> fuck your wife. <laughs> no, that's that's knowing how low down Mike is. Is if he is low down as they say he is, he probably sent his son over there and oh. set the whole shit up. Cause Let he didn't want to do it. He like it'll look too. Yeah. Nah, yeah. too yeah. They, they suspected me. Yeah. Yeah, I never suspect you. Probably put some in his account, made sure he had enough to pull him. Uh, <laughs> Come on, man. Is this your father's money? Bitch, this my shit. Hey. Look at the show no, he account. put it, yeah, he put it in the, yeah. no, you got your own account. Yeah. I'm going to pad your stats. Mm. <laughs> nigga, that shit a hurt, though. Scotty probably don't talk to that nigga to this day. So? You think it's the, you think it's Scotty not talking to Mike? It's the other way <laughs> All right, Mike ain't talked to Scotty. Mike been looking at his phone like this, making sure Scotty hang up. He don't even. Mike, Mike ain't talked to Scotty since the shot, nigga. Since he put that shot up and walked off the court. <laughs> but you really don't talk to him since. You know, Mike only really got one friend from the NBA. That Charles Oakley. Charles Oakley, yeah, yeah. He was Charles Barkley was his friend. So he said the nigga is a horrible owner. That yeah. nigga cut Charles yeah. Barkley the oh, fuck man. off. He was like, it's my job to commentate. Hey, man. Mike don't give a fuck. <laughs> he don't. Mike came down and shake but two niggas' hands when they did the goddamn gold jacket shit. The, uh, uh, 75? Yeah, the 75. <laughs> he ain't speak to none of them niggas. <laughs> Why fake it? Yeah. He ain't been speaking to him. Bro, but you don't know shit till niggas die. I didn't know him and Kobe was so cool. Yeah, I didn't know that so, You know, Kobe passed mm -hmm. and he spoke at his funeral. Yeah, that nigga was like Kobe. Kobe, Kobe was the only one he was fucking with. Yeah. He seen something. He was yeah. like, yeah, he, I could fuck Kobe with him. Kobe wouldn't leave that nigga alone. Mike right. had <laughs> to, Kobe, Mike had to adopt him. Yeah. So he, he wouldn't give up. He said he went, he had just text him out the blue and asked him about Gigi, about his daughter and stuff, like about playing basketball. And everybody know that's the type of shit that'll make Mike not fuck with you. You don't just text Mike out the blue. Yeah. Hell no. What? Talk bark. Man, you who, who you think would be as close to Michael Jordan besides LeBron? Because you know I already got him right what there. What made you think that? Think what? They was close. Don't never just assume people close because you seen them on some pictures. Hey, I was talking about close like in stature, bro. Are you? Oh yeah, that nigga. He the new king. Who he LeBron? Been, yeah, he been the new yeah, king. Yeah, I'm saying who who you got out seeing after that though? After LeBron? Yeah. Like who gonna take over? Yeah, next? yeah, I don't see nothing. We Shit. like Ant-Man around here, Anthony Edwards from Atlanta. I don't know. I don't know. He be biting his fingernails and shit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he don't got the right to corn. <laughs> Cause sometimes they ask him a question, he just be running out of shit to say. He be like, you know, shit be good. It be good and shit. Yeah, yeah, like that Atlanta nigga come yeah, out of, yeah, yeah, they don't yeah. want to say too much. You know, you know they're twisted words. I don't know who going to be next, though, shit. They probably, it's going to be like, it ain't going to be no one nigga for a while. Ain't nobody going to just take over. Like, yeah, if it's going to be a collective. Yeah, it's going to be a good little three-point lead. Shit, Steph going to play a, a little bit Bro, I think it's going to come to a point where they're going to have to say the NBA again. No, they not. Nah, you just saw. We just talked about Chet and Wimby. Like they up next. Bro, don't nobody want right. to see no Ooh, motherfucking like white boy. <laughs> they not from. They not even from America. Yeah, Chet that was American, saying. bro. No. It's like a European league. In what happened to that too? tall ass white boy that looked like a thug? Jokic. No, nah, the real, real tall one. Where is it? No, nah, the dude from Paris or some shit. They got the white dude, though. He tall. All right, he must not be in there, but I yeah. thought he was supposed to come and do some shit. The real tall, slow motherfucker. Wimby? Wimby Yama? No, the white. He said white. I'm going to look He white. Up. Yeah, I think. He be in a lot of commercials. He Bo, used, Bo he used to be at first. Sean Bradley? Nah, he Hell was, nah, he nah, did. Nah. Oh, yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. He died. Right. Sean Bradley died? Uh -huh. Yeah. I ain't even remember yeah, that. I, I know he was 7'6", playing for Dallas. Yeah. I remember that shit. What's one of the best games you ever seen? Like, it could be any sport that you like. If somebody say something, you be like, oh, nah, that game. 
like you can you could tell somebody. The best one I seen like live. Live, yeah. Not not live. We could be on TV. Well, hell, I watched all the Bulls win all them championships. It had to be one of them. It would have to be. I remember that. For, all right, the most most memorable memorable shit to me though was when New York and Chicago used to play. And you see this shit live. On oh, NBC? Oh, God. oh, it was crazy. Yeah. Yes. Like, I'm talking about In this shit. Garden. Like, watching it on TV was better than being there because you could go and get your food and all this shit, bro. Come back and sit down. And bro, I remember when all the Bulls games used to come on this one channel at WGN Chicago. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Man, bro. that was the heyday Hell of sports. yeah. Man. WGN. Y'all remember that uh, that overtime game that Syracuse and uh, UConn motherfucker that went like six, six overtimes? Mm -hmm. I remember seeing that. That, that shit was, was crazy. In the garden. Yeah. Uh, that shit was fire. Yeah. I would just say that Georgia and Ohio State. Man, you know what? Fuck that. Right now, it might be that Colorado goddamn game. <laughs> <laughs> when, 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 when it, it came went, back. went to the moment and Colorado came yeah. back, shit, Dion might got my new favorite game right now. <laughs> Bruh, it was I remember three in the Ole morning. Miss and Alabama played like a game that was like seven overtimes. Oh, that's a big rivalry. Yeah. Who, so who your team from? You Ole Miss or Mississippi State? Ole Miss. Because Ole, Ole Miss in my hometown. Okay, okay. Mm. Yeah. Is so it, I got to see is a it lot of at shit. the school? Nigga, one of the coldest live dunks I ever seen was by that boy Jerry Wallace. Hell it, yeah. That, that, when he was at Auburn. Cats. Man, that motherfucker came yeah. off the tip off. They had just tipped him like the beginning of the game. Yeah. Tip off. Motherfucker took one, one bounce and threw that bitch up. It's like that nigga jumped over the bridge <laughs> and caught that bitch and was hanging on that motherfucker like this. And he was doing this shit all motherfucking game. That's one of the coldest, highest jumping this niggas I ever seen. Gerald Wallace. Gerald Wallace. Shout out to Gerald Wallace. Hell yeah. He went to the ball cat. Yeah, he, Man, he played a few cold. years in the league. He, he went minute. to the net. Monte Ellis from Mississippi. Kings. Oh, he is? Yeah, my oh, that boy. Cold, that boy. Oh, in high school, Dog. he was a problem. He was a problem. Yeah. 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 He dropped like 70 in high school. Yeah, yeah, yeah 100. 100. Yep. Something like that. Yep. Yeah. What college he in the going It was to? another. Uh, Straight yeah, to the league. Oh, okay, okay. John we saw Lou Will last night uh, yeah. at the uh, premiere. The and then, shout out Jonathan Bender, he from Mississippi. Yeah, he was, 24 he's, went to the Pacers. He was seven feet tall in high school, and that boy Damn. was cold. He he ain't really uh, he ain't really uh, flourish in the league though, did he? No, nah, not for real. Sometimes in high out. school, straight to the league, they get that money, start that fucking off. Dope. Shit, hard to stay focused. It is. It's hard to stay. I focused. got to see a lot of good games. I got to watch Deuce McAllister play when he was at Ole Miss. Mm. Hell yeah, Deuce Dog. went to the Saints. Dog. Oh yeah, Lowe, you, you 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 Eli in the sports bag? Uh, yeah, Eli I thought Manning. Eli was better than Peyton when I first was watching Eli. Nah. Nigga, I said when I first was watching oh. it, nigga. Now, Peyton Manning, Peyton probably, Peyton. The, he ain't going to get the credit, but that motherfucker, the most complete quarterback that we probably got to see, like, from start to finish. He Peyton been, Manning? He knew the whole, like, Peyton. from Tennessee all the way up, bro. Yeah. This motherfucker yeah. don't he miss. He just couldn't get past Bill Belichick and Tom Brady. Bro, he is. Them niggas are figure his Man, ass it ain't a lot I'm of motherfucking Peyton Manning. Yeah, he got he one. Got two. Two. He got two. Yeah, because yeah. he got one with Denver, one in Indian. Oh, he got Indianapolis. two? Yeah, yeah, he got, he got one in Oh, he a good one. Yeah. 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 He got, Peyton Manning. He got to catch Elon. Like, it ain't a whole lot of, like, complete ass quarterbacks like that, but. Pat Mahone going. Pat Mahone right now is my favorite quarterback. Word. Damn, you know, of course, Michael Vick. Michael Vick was all like, time. Michael Vick. Oh yeah, Bro. Michael Vick all time, easy. Cause no, Michael no Vick question. was a. Hey, you remember when he grew his hair? I'm telling you. Yeah. <laughs> you own the son. I just thought about it. <laughs> when Vick had the braids, hey. they, they wanted him to cut that shit so bad. Okay, Thanks. I do. Y'all remember when Allen Iverson cut his braids? Yeah. You're an all star. And all then that nigga said, fuck that. Yeah, he grew the bitch back right back. Yeah. He grew right back. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Mellow with the braids. Come on, Come on man. Ooh. Mellow yeah. was better without the braids, though. Nah. Dude. Nah. New York. Nah. He wasn't better in New York. All right, now check this out. This is how powerful this shit is. Okay, right? Y'all remember the first dirt in the whiskey, right? Damn. Remember when he grew his hair out? Yeah, long hair. Yeah. Come on, man. So the shit work for white people too. His wife black. His wife mm. black. Yeah. She said, "Hey man, <laughs> grow that shit up." You can find any evidence of a month when the nigga hair grow back out. It's over with. Hmm. Yeah. And Greg, you up next? Uh, 
Man, I can't. I'm Look at Jimmy <laughs> Butler. Nah, he doing some other shit. Man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Even even you ain't to break seen the record no games this though. <laughs> even you ain't seen the, him play yet. Even to break the record with this shit. Huh? You, All right, watch. Jimmy when, Butler. Don't judge him till you see his. Give him three games. <laughs> yeah, three games. Just to warm up. Bro, Jimmy be tripping sometimes. Bro. That's exactly what he's supposed to be doing. Get that motherfucking Get money. Get that motherfucking money. And show the fuck out. What if he really just, what if he didn't hit that number where he really can just be himself now? He like, I'm straight for life. Now I can be Jimmy. Now I can be James. Yeah. <laughs> fuck he Jimmy. never really Jimmy. That yeah, was yeah, yeah. Jimmy is his oh, alter ego to play oh, yeah, ball. Yeah. That nigga want to be, shit, he want to have his shit emoed out. Eat ice cream and shit. <laughs> Hey man, when you what made you stop playing football? Like I'm better at comedy. For sure. Yeah, I think once I I had a But a, you weren't doing comedy in high school and college. I was I was so funny in high school. I didn't, even, I didn't even eat food. I was so funny. <laughs> I was fucking hilarious in high school. So much shit I did for free I could have got rich off of. Yeah, had we had the internet. You make a nigga pay now though. Oh my god. <laughs> they still owe me from 96. Yeah. I had a lot of asshole coaches, though. For real. It really just... It can turn you off. from. Oh, it turned me off. Sure, exactly. What were the worst thing that happened with you or the coach that you probably... Oh, had? the coach tried to leave me in another city. The coach nigga, in high school? Yeah, the coach tried to... Bro, you me. had to be a shit-talking <laughs> nigga, bro. I was. I was. I definitely was. But the coach tried to put me off the bus, take my track suit. And leave me at the fucking gas station in the whole fucking city away from where we stayed. Man, what the hell crazy. you could have said? <laughs> nah, I fucked around. And I ate some shit and I got sick. Uh -huh. And I had the shit bad as fuck. And I was like, hey, man, fuck it. <laughs> I'm fucked up. And then he just he just kept going. He he got on the highway. I was like, I'm not stopping. So we got into it. Then when he finally stopped, he was like, take that uniform off. I was like, I ain't taking off shit. Straight like this that. This motherfucker called the police. What? Police showed up and they was like, man, you can't leave him here. <laughs> what? That's crazy. Bro, we needed social media back then, yeah, man. That couldn't be fact. locked up right there. You just there, had to this. take a shit, Facts, bro. Man. Like, then he gonna call the police. <laughs> he called the police and they were like, man, you trip. You can't leave him here. You gotta take him home. It's the state law or whatever. So, bro, we get back to the fucking school. They done call all these uh, administrators and shit. He going off. I'm going off. I was about to whoop this dude's ass. This motherfucker look like a ghost anyway. Just talking crazy. It wasn't me. I'm One thing about me, I don't never start shit. I end up in shit because people think they could just talk to you crazy and they don't know. You could talk to certain people crazy, but yeah, ain't certain people are already crazy. It's like, well, you want to talk crazy, let's go and be all the way crazy. Was it? Do you think he was like racist? Most definitely. Most of the he just had to put up. Back in that time, this most of them people were though. Cause y'all had a lot of white coaches and shit, huh? All of them. Yeah, Mississippi had. Yeah. Yeah, yeah all of them. They see a black coach on the side, they lose their motherfucking mind. <laughs> yeah, they was crazy. As fuck. What the they took fuck? shit too far. Too far. So yeah, it's different then. So what you think when they were kneeling and stuff like that? Like somebody like Colin Kaepernick, you was for that? Yeah. Sure. Somebody got to do it. Uh -huh. do Especially you, at the time that he did it, shit was shit was. Yeah, crazy. shit was wild and fucked up. Right. But do you think the league should give him another chance? If he want one, they he, owe him that. He, he want one. Yeah, they, they ain't giving it to he, him. No. Yeah, he begging that. He want one. <laughs> um, whatever, man. Bro, he done got that money. I'm like, let that shit fuck them. No, no, I'll really. start my own league on their ass. No, the, no, 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 the, the Rock said they invited him to the XFL. He like, He's nah, like, nah, I'm he straight. Was, like, he's straight. <laughs> Yeah. No, nah, if he want to play, fuck it, let him. He ain't do shit wrong. Yeah. They don't give a fuck. So you ain't never like the Cowboys. I know Jerry Jones races as a motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, Jerry Jones. He, he just, I don't know. I don't know. I never, I told you, I was always a 49ers fan. That's a big rivalry. 49ers versus Cowboys. They just yeah. That's why, like, with growing up, your dad and your uncle, they, I never knew it was that many teams in the NFL. <laughs> I just thought it was 49ers, Cowboys, and probably Falcons and a couple more. Because, well, nigga, it. they was either 49ers or Cowboys fans. You don't remember when the Buffalo Bills was a was that team? Hell no. 
Shit. You went to four Super Bowls in a row. Thurman Thomas? Man, you crazy. Nigga, yeah, I went <laughs> hell no. <laughs> Nigga, I, I, did they ever win that motherfucker? Yeah. Nah. Don Beebe. They went, they went to Super Bowl four years in a row and lost four yeah. years. And they win they shit. Was, Crazy. They was tearing everybody in. So. Nigga, I like I like the uh the Rams though. I like that nigga Kurt Warner, mm. Marshall Falk. That's yeah, the Marshall Falk. Yeah, Hulk. yeah. Hulk. Isaac Hulk. Bruce, Torrey yeah. Hope, all them niggas. Yeah, I I like the the Tampa Bay Buccaneers when Ward Dunn was the uh, yeah. running, yeah. running back. Mike Dar- Allstar, Dar- Dar- Brooks. Aaron Brooks, uh, Warren Sapp, Sapp was a Rene Barber, they had a team too. Yeah, I, I ain't like, the only reason I didn't want them to win, bro, because they took that team from Tony Dungeon and gave that shit the to Gruden, John Gruden, Gruden bro. Yeah. <laughs> Tony Dungeon had put that team together and John Gruden got that nigga ring and John Gruden ain't been shit since. That's the That's game, though, now. If you can't get emotionally involved in this shit, this is a business. This really is just the sports version of the WWF. You been telling me to stop gambling. And I, I ain't like, never bro. said stop gambling. <laughs> I just said don't be believing that that shit <laughs> work the way you think it do. Yeah. It's some rich motherfuckers up there who just sit there like, yeah, sit in the San Francisco. It's, right. it's a fucking game. They don't care. Like, you be watching the individual games, but the big game is they're going to let him play over here for a little bit and make them some money, and then they're going to move him over. It's all money. That's why they be like, motherfucker just signed for a hundred and some million dollars. Like, yeah, but they finna sell six billion dollars worth of shit with his face on it. They were killing college for a long time. They got to the point where Crazy. they just had done ran that motherfucker. They didn't even know where to hide the money. They ran it up, bro. They done ran the check up so big, they were like, fuck it, give them to them. I'm, I'm. In the small schools, too, that were winning. You got to think like Kentucky and Memphis when, them, when Calipari was at them teams. Now they're they gonna have to go up. back and reinstate all them people who got accused of doing shit wrong. Mm-hmm. Well, it ain't, ain't gonna, I don't know what's gonna, what's gonna be the next violation then. They're gonna find something you can't do now. Johnny Manziel, that's one. He didn't give a fuck. When they found out he did that shit, he didn't give a damn. He still got his money. He still got his money. They didn't ask him for his Heisman back, none of that. Hell no, nah, mm-hmm. they got it from Reggie Bush. Goddamn. What kind of goddamn. Athlete father, would you be like your son is a sports? Like, would you be like John ja Morant, dad? I'd be just like you'd T- be like T Morant. <laughs> I'm at the game, talking shit, fresh as hell. Yeah, with some of that loud ass cologne on. Yeah. <laughs> Too much cash on me, I'm drinking, I, money, I, money shit, falling, falling all out. out of my pocket. I'm, I'm cutting. I'm coaching. Oh, I'm Levar Ball. Oh yeah, I'm Levar Ball. Every, Every time they ask me, my son the coldest motherfucker ever. <laughs> Give him the goddamn ball and let him figure it out. I'm telling you, the boy good. The boy good. Hey. And my son, I know what he made up. I believe in him. Y'all motherfuckers don't believe Every him. Every time we do so, he got to come holler at you. Got to come dad, dad up. Hey, you yeah. see how my dad show up? I'm going to be the most over-the-top nigga in his life. Nah, that I'm nigga showing up dad. with the truck with the turtle top on that motherfucker. With, oh, son, I sleep in the van now. I'm on the road with y'all. I'm driving there with all that extra shit. Hey, your dad used to come to the game? Hell yeah. How he used to be at the game? Oh, nigga. Uh, cowboy shit. boots, snake skin, <laughs> leather bro. pants, all kind of shit, man. Here's a quick Los dad story, bro. Los got them sold out of Atlanta. So I'm thinking his dad, you know, you know, of course his dad proud of him. His dad said, I made the nigga that everybody came to see. <laughs> <laughs> he turning and flipping on him. <laughs> Nigga, you right. <laughs> that's how you get down, bro. Nah, that dope for real. Yeah. Broken play. Man, we here, man. That's crazy, bro. I'm glad that you you doing this though, covering the blacker side of sports. Yeah, and then what they need to see, they wanna they wanna really see niggas just talk about it. Like right. how niggas supposed to talk about it. Right. Not you ain't that. been watching none of the WNBA. Nigga, you crazy. I love the aces right now. <laughs> mm. Nigga, it went out when See, bro, when you got them, gave us the key and put it in our lane and say, y'all, man, have at it. I realized I couldn't just stick to, like, football and basketball. Nigga, I done start watching Coco. Tennis. Coco. Oh, Coco Golf. Yeah, nigga. Oh, she bad. Oh, man. She bad. Nigga, I'm thinking about getting WNBA tickets, season tickets. At least some LSU tickets go see old. Oh, Angela Reese. Nah, Angel, Angel, Angel Reese. I be fucking their names. Yeah, though. you get to that, you get to that age where you getting the old nigga, you fucking up. Yeah. Oh, 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 Angelica. 
Yeah, you hey. getting there. You getting there. Sometimes, sometimes you just got to say their number. Baby girl, well, you know. LSU. Yeah, LSU. Tall, tall thing. Tall one? Yeah, she be balling. For sure. They said them ladies get mad if they say they're going to let the rim down. Yeah, we were just talking about that. I don't know why, though. You do know why. <laughs> why? It's an ego thing, you think? Pride. Yeah, quality, bro. They want, to, they want it to be equal. Man, fuck that. Bro, I just, I don't understand <laughs> why that shit ain't popped off, though. What? Can you imagine, you've been to an NBA game, right? Half of that fucking arena is just filled with groupies and hoes who want to see these... Men, these rich men yeah. play basketball. What if men was at the WNBA game, sold out, trying to holler, like, baby girl, baby girl, keep your head up now. Hey, you go get something to eat if you want to. But long. Just a whole arena of niggas trying to holler at these women. Shit. 80% of them off the market. Who 80% of them got That's it. what's going to change the game. It's going to be one team. The starting five is going to be five beautiful ass motherfuckers. And that's what they're going to And they're going to be mad as hell. going to be the first team selling out for the whole season. <laughs> Don't give a fuck if they win the game. They, they, had, to sold the game. Out. they had to move the game to the garden. <laughs> <laughs> Big plump fat ass. <laughs> so you can't be objective, man. I'm, I'm, I'm saying like. We got to act like we're there for the game. Oh, yeah, yeah. But we're going to be hollering, you know, like when Good they walk. Good pick. Good pick. <laughs> Motion, motion. Yeah. Damn, look at that ass. <laughs> you gotta just mumble at the end. I just can't believe it ain't popped off though. It's, Bruh, it's growing steadily. It sure. got some steadily. shit gotta happen. You know what I'm saying? Women like, I know they be arguing and shit. Like, they gotta get more. They got at least in WNBA, they should have a rule where women can argue as long as they want to. Cause Oh yeah, before they give them a technical file. They ain't watching the game, man. You gonna change the channel, bro. Like, what are they talking about? Nah, they need to be able to argue. Is for the women need to talk. Cause women love to see other women. That's why they say watch all the reality up. shows. Right. Like love and hip hop, all that shit. They love that. Man, when you watch a WNBA game and you see one of them women splash the Gatorade in the big <laughs> way, oh, no, we locked in now. Because we'll never know when it's going to happen. Right. Niggas just send it all oh, shit. <laughs> she don't pick the Gatorade bottle up. Right. You see that shit splashes all over the couch. See, that's the thing. They trying to make the WNBA too much like the NBA. Yeah. We, like, let them ladies play ball how they be playing. I was just saying, you remember when niggas used to fight in the 90s all the time when you watch a game? Man. And all you get is thrown out yeah. the game. And be at the And next everybody one. would wait till the perfect time to fight. Oh, we down by 11. I'm finna swing on this whole way. <laughs> you, that's, that was when Sports Center was at its height. Yeah, yeah. Hell three yeah. game suspension. That's the Bring only back reason, the three game suspension. That's the only reason niggas will even watch hockey. You know it's gonna be a fight. When nigga hit that goddamn glass, oh shit, let the ass in. You so, can tell the white boys that play hockey ready to fight. They don't even get their teeth fixed to them. Yeah, they say fuck it. They got some teeth that they wear in public and some, they take that shit out to play <laughs> hockey. <laughs> Never a little black gun when they play. <laughs> you ever went to a hockey game? Hell yeah, it's cold as fuck at a hockey game. Bruh, That's what don't nobody freezing, tell you. Dog. <laughs> Nobody tells you it's fucking freezing nah, in I ain't never know that shit. Yeah, it's cold as fuck. I never go back. I'm black. I don't even like being cold. I would definitely not want to go watch some shit where I got to be cold the whole fucking time. Hell no. Man, Los, before you leave, who is one guest that you you would be like that you be like they'll be good for broken play? Like one athlete that you be like you don't you don't see many interviews from this nigga or nothing like that. You be like. You will want to see them on that couch talking that shit like a real nigga. Allen Iverson. Made the call. Allen Iverson. I think he'll fuck with it. Yeah. And he'll talk that shit too. Hell yeah. yeah he, he it's a him. lot, it's a it's a lot of athletes that I already fuck with, which I wasn't gonna tell you to the end Still of the show. Still don't need to tell me. No, nah, I know. I got a gang of people who be asking me about you. And I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to plug you in with social media or something, because Damn, Lord, that boy smiling. Oh, yeah, you ain't. Cause you, <laughs> see, that's what I've been saying. You don't even realize how many motherfuckers is fucking with you. You didn't already say it. Fuck them on the show. And I be talking. To, I gotta stop. I know you got a list of motherfuckers that you fuck with, but you are gonna have to extend your list. And, and I don't know. This but, you in a, oh, you're in a hard position because you got to deliver for I the people. Gotta, I gotta say this shit. It ain't personal. <laughs> you just at work, man. But I know one. I, 
Sabonis know he could never come on this motherfucker. <laughs> Which one? Arvidas? No, nigga. His son. Uh, his son. <laughs> the Monster, the Him neither. <laughs> Him or his daddy can't come on this motherfucker. They Damn. some garbage bastards. Damn. We gonna get some merch, Los. When we get the merch, we wanna throw you some merch. What a merch and shit. Some broken play merch. What game is this? You can't be having that game on yeah, without we, the express a, written consent. No, nah, it's old highlights and shit. They don't fuck with that. <laughs> I'm glad you got a glare on the TV so they can't really see them. It's just the motions. <laughs> that was our big idea and shit, man. Man, I've been I've been hitting on the prize picks. Oh yeah, shout out prize pick, man. Uh who who a lock on there that you could got there? I can't give you no trade secrets. You you really just trying to get information that you could use to your benefit. No, I'm just saying. I already shit. We been on the roll, lo. Who? I I was a team. Our <laughs> you don't see that? Every time we win, we get a 1942 box. Y'all got one box. <laughs> <laughs> the roll got to start one way. <laughs> y'all just y'all just start winning. Nah, that was, that was a couple <laughs> about three months ago. <laughs> Oh, last, last season, bro. You the only nigga I know who got a show where you got merch that's not like merchandise or memorabilia that's not even autographed, just a regular ass baseball. <laughs> ain't nobody signed it or nothing, bro. You got oh, nigga, you ain't see these. Where you get them from? Uh, Shannon Griggs. <laughs> I let you borrow them. He actually signed them when he came on the hey. Five South Show, and I was like, we're gonna put them on the set for Broken Play. Bro, now that you say, I don't know who baseball this is, bro. <laughs> bro, who glued this the This ain't no real baseball. Who glued the baseball? Bro, we gotta get you some legit. <laughs> no, we got some. You remember uh Jeff T signed that Pacers? I got we got that. We just ain't been hanging. We've been so busy, bro. We got some tights gear coming on the way too. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we gotta get this. We can't just be having you on here with regular ass memorabilia. If you don't have that shit signed, now I gotta find this shit out. Who who baseball this? Hey man, tell your fans to send you in some autographed merch that you could use on the set, bro. The people are watching. You don't be asking them for shit. See, that's how you build your show up, bro. I don't have no more money in the budget. This it. Everything you so now get from, you just got ideas. Yeah, from here, everything from here on out gonna have to be donated by your fan base. Shout out to Jeff T. <laughs> that nigga pulled that off his own. <laughs> Cause it's dirty. I know he did. Shout out to Jeff T. Now we gonna get some more shit in, Lo. Now yeah. that you said, niggas ain't giving a fuck. Who signed that picture right there? You? What? Is that your own autograph in there? That's Josh. No, Josh signed one, but I don't know where that's at. Josh Smith, we had Josh Smith on the show. Who is that? Look, look at this shit they got in here, Lowe. Who is that? Bruh. <laughs> is that the first Lo, nigga that integrate sports? I give a fuck, that's but granddad. I just ain't been paying attention to this that's shit. That's Dad granddaddy? I think so, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't talk about man, that. Man, man, did it, Lowe. Let, Let him see I gotta what see this. Got on, I'm gonna tell y'all who this is. Oh, boy, you don't know who this is? Who is that? That's Lonnie Low Legs Wilson. <laughs> <laughs> One of the first black men to play what they call football. See, back in the day, black men wasn't allowed to run away from white men. That was against the law. <laughs> and you can clearly see on this white man's face right here, he is like, God damn, that nigga's fast. I don't think we're going to ever be able to catch him. Look at all the disarray and disbelief in their faces. He shocked the world right here. They have, this was probably one of the first times that they seen a black man run a 4-2-40. <laughs> because what you don't know is, once he decided to play in this game, he had to stay moving the whole time for his own safety because the referee wasn't going to make no call for him. <laughs> so I think he finished this game right here with... Uh, 285 yards, three touchdowns, <laughs> two kickoff returns, a punt return, a block punt, and four quarterback sacks and seven tackles. <laughs> One of the greatest black men ever do it. What's his name again? That is Lonnie Low Leg. Wilson. Wilson. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Low Leg. Man, we appreciate you pushing up on it, Low. Yeah, man, I don't get to come outside too often, but when I do, I try to make it worth it. Yeah, but hey, don't be a stranger, bro. Ain't that what they say on, on shows? <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, I really don't have no excuse to be. I'm literally across the hall. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's what... So close, but yes, yeah, so far. <laughs> yeah, we were just trying to figure it out. Yeah. It is the, it, where, where the people can find you at, man? I don't want them to find me. <laughs> <laughs> what you got coming up, Loaf? You on tour right now? Got a movie out, bro. Oh, man. Tell them about the movie, man. No, no. Hey! See, this how this how when you just start noticing shit, I'm going to say that real quick. Like, other niggas is like... Don't be paying attention. The nigga Los is a businessman. I'm watching the movie. It's showing the goddamn who all in the movie. So nigga watching. Then the shit say executive produced. I see his name again. I said, that sneaky motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. That nigga gonna find a way to cut in on the check every time. Man, cut me in or cut it out. That's straight up. That's, That's real, though. I'm trying to get my uh, production credit stuff. Word up. Nah, that real. Yeah. No, put my name Cause behind. you been you been slick doing the shit anyway. Might as well. You know how to find talent. That's what they say. That's what they say, man. <laughs> A lot of people say it though. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man. We appreciate you pushing up on us, man. Next time on Broken Play.